going? Good morning, internets. Today we're going to be looking at text and image. So what does that mean? That means we're going to be working on some visual experiments and exploring how different meanings can be created with the relationship between text and image. We're going to try it a couple different ways. So the first way is we're going to try changing the perception and reading of an image without actually touching the image. So what we'll be doing is we'll be trying out different words, exploring their placement, their appearance, and basically we'll be looking at how do we start to rearrange their setting somehow? How do we change the environment of the image or an image with language? Okay. And then the second way we're going to go about doing this is we're going to reverse that. So we'll keep the words or the phrase, whichever we decide to use the same. And then we're just going to be changing the image itself. Um, so in some ways, this is this is also about how do we alter or distort the meaning of either a word or an image just by changing its setting, right? Just by changing the sort of placement or relationships between things. Um, one of the things is that words and images are highly conditioned by our cultural context. And I would say part of the experiment is to explore ways of ungluing or sort of um, un learning, ungluing, and creating space for maybe new and unforeseen ideas that come out of this. I'm trying to record a video because I have to do one for this book project about text and image. Can you stop? No, it's going. Do you want to you wanna help for a second? I have this list of words. Pick a word from here to go with the image. Label, like, leave, last, lend, lack. You got a double click inside. Which one do you want? Lean. Okay. Why lean? It's just, you can lean on a thing, this thing here. Kind of leaning on there? Yeah. So. But also, you can lean on the thing and it's hot, so it's nice if it's cold. It's a heater, so you can lean, yeah. so you're looking at all the stuff within the image. Yeah. Yeah, Lee is just, that's the perfect word. Okay. Is that okay? Yep. Is that okay for you? That's perfect. Thank you, Push Keys. Some things to consider, right? Context, placement, visual attitude, how a text is delivered. Is it shouting? Is it quiet? What does size do? What does placement do? What does color do? What does typeface do, right? When you start to put different things into a crowd of one another versus it being a sort of single individual, how does this also change the meaning? But a lot of this has to do with, let's say, the sort of space or the grammar of a page. Okay, mm, step zero. So borrow, steal, or construct some materials. At this point, what you wanna do is you wanna pick a set of images to work with. Um, I would pick around 10 or so, enough to where you have a kind of family of them. For copyright issues, I decided to just wander around my apartment and take some images with my phone. When I started, I didn't really have a plan, but I found that there was a lot of different things hanging. So there were cords, there was fabric, there was clothes, there was towels, things like this. So I decided to mostly focus on that, but there's some other smaller moments that kind of break this up. Uh, the reason I think maybe the, the sort of hanging objects are interesting to work with or as a way to start is that it, it, they sort of, they're an archive of activity within the household and through the people who live here and family and whatnot. Um, and they're kind of these stand-ins for bodies and sort of action and use. Um, you can of course just doom scroll and save images from the internet or pull from your camera reel and try and find some order within it. They don't necessarily need to relate because part of the exercise is about trying to find sort of common ground 
between seemingly unrelated materials. And the text will help to do that in sort of this publication format will also. Okay. So now that we have started to establish what our world of images is, then we're gonna deal with text. Pick at least 10 words or phrases. These can be randomly generated or copied from another text. You could just look up your last few interactions, and chatting and stuff and grab them. Or you could always consult an algorithm. There's some pretty great text generators online. Uh, I first generated a list of verbs that began with the letter L, but these were somehow too short to begin to feel more like a dictionary entry. So I just decided to pull fragments from recent chats. I looked for phrases that already had a kind of image or implied some larger narrative. Um, a lot of them, you know, they're pulled from these larger contexts, so I think what'll be interesting to see is how you start to then put them into another sort of frame or context or create kind of a totally new conversation based on them. Okay, okay, so to wrap this little place up, why give a shit? What's important about experimenting with text and image, trying to become more sensitive to the way language structures our perception of images and vice versa? I mean, all you really have to do is look at how much you used this combination of text and image today, right? How many posts did you make or captions did you read? Um, in our contemporary media landscape, communication has become so compressed, right? So absolutely compressed. The way we express ourselves aesthetically, politically, and on a very practical level has already adopted a new grammar and vocabulary. Just look at emojis, right? Look at the way you use images in relationship to texting. Um, and within this kind of vocabulary, there's already this built-in understanding of both forms, right? We use images to expand language and in turn language expands images. We use images to communicate what we can't say. They fill in the gaps and expand the cracks of our communication. I think language can express what's underneath an image, what's beside it. It can also expand its space beyond the frame, right? Um, and I mean, I made this, so obviously I care. Thank you for listening and hopefully I'll see you sometime soon.